On this painting, which I'm calling Keyless Entry, I want it to be about the keys and the shadow. And I intentionally tried to make it a little bit abstract so it took you a moment to discover the keys against the shadow. They're very close in contrast. And because of this, I did something I rarely do. I put it on a white piece of paper and have no background. One of the things I particularly like about this is the sort of abstract quality at the top. And I like it that the background is white because it makes it feel very contemporary. The problem I have and what I'd like to do to help finish it off a little bit is that it feels a little graphic to me, a little illustrative. So I want to bring it back a little bit more into the softness of a painting. And what I think looks a little bit too graphic are these strong lines here, this strong line here, and then I've got a couple arrows pointing off the paper. And we don't want anything that takes the viewer off our page. We want to keep them right here in the focal point. I'm going to use very clean, clear water because this has a pure white background never having had paint on it and I don't want to disturb that. I'm going to wet very carefully right along this line. Now I could do this in a couple ways. I could tape on both sides of the line and then run my scrubber down inside the tape and today I'm just going to be bold and lift it a little bit. So as all I've done is wet it with clear water. I'm going to go back and now I'm going to wet it again with clear water. Go back and just like that I'm losing a little bit of that strong graphic line. I felt it needed something there so I added the suggestion of some shape behind it. But I don't want it to detract from what I've come to say what my story is. And my story is about the keys and the shadows. Now I could do this a little longer and at home I probably will. But you sort of get the idea of how this is taking the edge off of it so that it's not as distracting. I'm going to take a very small scrubber and just really get in here and scrub just a little bit. Now that's if you want to take the color completely away. You can scrub a little bit. I was just going to soften but it just seemed like it needed a little more than that. Especially at that intersection here of these two shapes. I don't want the eye going there. And that helps us not to end up down here. I might later do just a little bit here, here. Uh, today I will show you just one more place here on this. I'm going to do it right on this edge just a little bit. If you have a whole hard edge painting, it's really important to have a few soft edges somewhere. A little lost and found, a little hard against soft. And that just takes away this stiffness. And I think that little piece alone helps. And I might end up doing a couple more along here. The last thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to go back to just a brush with clear water to start with, is soften these arrows that are coming off the page. Just with clear water. Go back a little further than I'm going to soften. And I'm just going to work the paint a little bit before I even touch it. Sometimes you don't even have to hit it with a Kleenex. Just working it a little bit softens it and gentles it down. Now I'm just going to touch it ever so slightly. Now you can see on this side how your eye can just go off here. This side I've given it a stopper. So let me do the exact same thing a little less dramatically on this side. Now these are very small touches, very final touches, but it's just a little bit compositionally helping the viewer to get in and stay here. And I think that's all I'm going to do for this one.